guys welcome back to another video it's your girl mrs emily paints and today we're gonna be talking about why i fell off okay so it has been forever since i've been on here talking to you guys on youtube i feel like i got very lost this past year and that is what we're gonna talk about so i just did my makeup by the way i filmed for instagram and tiktok i have been a little active on there but not as much and I know I completely disregarded YouTube and completely um, <laughs> neglected you guys and I'm so sorry. I feel like last year was a very, very tough year for me. I think between the end of 2021 and 2022 have been the hardest years of my freaking life. <laughs> you guys, so let me start from the beginning let me give you guys all the cheese me the 411 so a lot of you guys know that i used to live in virginia and i have talked about in previous videos that i was living in virginia and that i left and then i was living here with my mom so from living to my mom's i went to go rent a room by myself try to do things on my own and i was only relying on my business i was not working a nine to five so it was very very hard and honestly i think back on it right now and i'm just like oh my god i don't know how i put myself through that i went through so much you guys like you don't understand like i was <laughs> on my live stream trying to get sales trying to figure it out for rent for food for everything and I didn't even have a bed you guys and my audience did help me a lot so shout out to all my fan base on TikTok. Um, I have talked about this before here on YouTube but fast forward I was in a relationship and that en ended last year you guys. I don't want to talk about what happened <laughs> but uh, things ended and then obviously I started working on myself. I've been focusing so much on my mental health because last year was one of the most depressing years of my life you guys. Um, I found out I had a bipolar disorder which I didn't even know about. I didn't know why I kept going in to these depressive episodes and then out of nowhere like I was ready to conquer the world and then I would go into my shell again and get depressed and I didn't understand what was going on you guys so yeah I have a bipolar disorder apparently and I do have medication for that which I'm not currently on because it is actually worse for me I feel like it makes it a little more difficult for me when I get into like a cycle and since now I know what I have I can battle it on my own and I feel like I've been doing good so far. Also, you guys, I've been sticking to the gym so much because I feel like it helps me decompress a lot of those emotions, which has helped me focus now on the videos that I'm going to be posting soon for you guys here on YouTube. I was supposed to start in the beginning of March, but I actually took a trip over to Virginia. <laughs> and I was over there for about a week, came back, also <laughs> so much information in one video you guys <laughs> i got back with my ex-boyfriend the one that lived in virginia <laughs> um, if you guys remember the guy that was in the military we got back together and things have been going so well for us thank god <laughs> but yeah i went back to virginia and i traveled back across the u.s again you guys this is my i want to say third or fourth time going across the u.s driving it was a blast it was a blast i i have been all over the place you guys this year already and it feels amazing also on my way to virginia you guys i missed my flight <laughs> i was having mimosas and let me tell you guys this lady by the way this video is gonna be all over the place i'm literally telling you guys why i fell off where i'm at right now what happened so bear with me here <laughs> i was at the airport you guys waiting in illinois i was waiting for my flight to virginia Virginia. I was drinking mimosas and this lady is like sitting next to me and the bartender is like talking to the both of us and we're talking about all these different subjects and I lost my flight. I lost my flight you guys and I had to wait and I was just like lord <laughs> and then I told the people like what do you mean you guys left and they're like we're gonna get you another flight because the flight did leave early like they left like 20 minutes before they were supposed to you know before people started boarding so i was like uh no no sir like you guys gotta fix this because I, I was technically early you know or on time so anyways i got the next flight i had to wait like another two hours to get the next flight and keep in mind i was already like Hoo -hoo, you know so i was like okay i'm just gonna wait for my next flight and i waited and then finally the flight arrived i left whatever i was like so 
jet lag at that point. <laughs> you guys, my life has been a total adventure this year so far and I'm so happy about it because I'm not gonna lie, last year has been one of the most draining years of my life. I did have a lot of happy moments during that year. I'm not gonna say it was all bad, but the majority of the time, you guys, I was struggling to get out of bed. I was struggling to brush my teeth, which is crazy, but you know, depressive modes are very, very hard. To deal with so i was struggling just to do like normal normal hygiene that normal people do every single day you know it, it was dark and i never want to be in that place ever again ever 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 again i'm very proud to say this year that i have peace within myself <laughs> so far i feel like my boyfriend has been helping me so much get back on track he's just on top of everything and i'm like so glad because i was terrible last year you guys terrible also i'm gonna be moving soon i'm still at my mom's house you guys i'm living here i'm renting the living room so i'm gonna be moving very very soon i'm so excited about that you guys because i can't film here right now i literally shoved my parents in their room they're in their room right now i told them give me 15 minutes don't leave the room not to the restroom not to the kitchen 15 minutes i'm gonna make a youtube video and you're not gonna ruin it because my mother has this habit of talking to me and talking to me and talk it doesn't even matter if i have headphones on she's still trying to talk to me you guys so toxic <laughs> but anyways i just shoved them in the room right now for 15 minutes just to make this video for you guys so i hope you're still watching if you're a real one and you're still watching please comment peaches i don't know where that came from but comment peaches down below so that i know that you're a real one and you've been watching this video so far okay so i know i'm like all over the place with what i've been up to and stuff but let me tell you guys a couple of achievements that i did accomplish throughout this whole time i was away from youtube you guys so <laughs> i started going to the gym and i gained so much weight i actually reached my goal um at 145 pounds which i'm very 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 excited about because every time my pcos and endometriosis adenomyosis all that stuff every time that stuff attacks me monthly or every other month i lose weight because i'm like bleeding out and stuff and and my anemia kicks in so i'm happy to say that this last month i didn't drop any weight you guys i've been at 145 pounds since january so that's like no not even january since december like it's a big accomplishment at the end of december i was at 145 but i was not as strong as where i'm at today because i've been going to the gym consistently since the beginning of the the year like every single day and I've been seeing so many results, you guys. Mm -hmm. I'm over here trying not to like stumble over my words because I'm talking so fast. I've been on top of it. I've been very consistent with the gym um, from January up until today. And it feels so good, you guys. I've stayed at 145 pounds and I'm stronger than ever before, you guys. And those booty gains, let's not even talk about that. <laughs> it's definitely kicking in. And I know I used to bloat a lot like with what I have. Um, from all of the uterus issues so my stomach is not bloated like that anymore you guys things are changing things are flowing i'm excited but yeah you guys uh that's what's been happening in my life so far another accomplishment that i did do is i have been beating the f out of my depression um i have not felt like that after like from january up until today i have not felt like that you guys i will have like let's say one day out of like two weeks that i won't get out of bed which for me was like yesterday <laughs> um and it's so draining but it feels good it feels good to not feel like that anymore and that is another accomplishment you guys i've been so focused 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 on my mindset and my mental health and everything also you guys my relationship with god has gotten so much closer which to me is a huge accomplishment because i feel like last year i let a lot of bad influences and a lot of things get you know in the way of that i feel like i let a lot of people that were unhealed get way too close to me and it dragged me down with everyone else <laughs> never again have been reading the bible i have been meditating i'm actually fasting right now you guys today is my second day fasting and tomorrow will be the last day i'm doing three days i'm only having one meal a day and that is after the sun sets and it feels so good it feels so good to have my spirituality back on track and yeah i, I can't even like I, I can't even explain how much happier i am 
today with where I was you know just a year ago you guys <laughs> but anyways I'm back and also you guys my tripod this is another story I know I'm all over the place but like I said this is for us to catch up my tripod got taken away from me last year in Mexico <laughs> they took it from me in the airport so I didn't have one so like I know it's not an excuse to film for YouTube but it's very hard to just like I can't just place the camera anywhere you know and here like I don't have my backdrops I don't have anything so like I have to use what I got and this is what I got my mom's fluffy carpet <laughs> so here we are um, I bought a new tripod because when I went to Mexico um, on my way over there crossing from TJ they told me I cannot use that tripod I can't take it with me and I was like why and they're like because it's very uh, easy for you to like hurt someone with it blah 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 it's dangerous i'm like okay five four five four female 140 135 pounds at the time hit somebody with a tripod like on a one hour and a half flight i believe like no sir but they kept it they took it you guys and that tripod was like 200 bucks like 200 bucks i was losing my mind you guys i literally wanted to cry because i have worked my ass off for these things like all my filming equipment and my computer like i'm so i'm so anal on these things like i get angry easily if anybody messes with them because i worked my booty off to buy all of this equipment by myself by myself so i got mad and they took it from me and i wanted to cry and i just bought a new one i just bought a new one which i'm using right now which i'm so in love with because it also has like a phone mini tripod thing so not not mini tripod i'm sorry mini uh the little thing where you guys like put the phones you know and which i'm gonna be using tomorrow to film a video for you guys because i did mention on on instagram if your friends from instagram you know what i'm talking about i'm supposed to be filming a day with me a day in my life for you guys so you will be seeing it here on youtube very very soon i will be filming that tomorrow and i'm taking you guys to the gym with me so this tripod is so perfect because i don't have to take my heavy 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 equipment like i just need those little accommodations that this tripod has just to film for you guys so <laughs> i'm excited and yeah you guys i finally got a new tripod so i have no excuse to not film anymore i got everything i need i got a backdrop my makeup my hair you guys you guys here on YouTube did not get to see what happened to my hair. That's another story. Here we go. My hair was like up to here. I cut my hair last year, you guys. I was so fed up going through so many emotions. And for me, my hair is like one of the most important things like of my body. Like it, it's like it's everything to me. Like <laughs> and I was clearly not okay. And and I was like, I need a change. I need to do something. I need to get rid of something. And I just my hair got cut up to like right here i almost cried today when i was straightening it because it's longer like it's like it's like down here so i'm like so excited because it's almost back to its normal size and i don't know it feels good you guys because i feel like myself again i feel like me and i literally want to cry right now i'm like one second <laughs> okay i literally want to cry right now because i finally feel like myself again i finally feel like i'm living again and it it's crazy how just a couple little things can fix that so quick <laughs> okay guys so this video is already very very long i do want you guys to follow me on my tiktok and on instagram it's the same username on both so let me tell you guys what i do on there don't go anywhere i'm not leaving it <laughs> so on tiktok you guys i do go live probably once or twice a week and i sell a lot of my products during my live stream and we just talk about random stuff here and there um you guys can ask me any questions that you guys want i will answer them i do sell makeup bundles and right now i'm actually doing inventory for my brand so i'm super excited for you guys to see the new stuff that i got you know about to go out for you guys um, so i'm working on that right now and then on my instagram you guys i do post my mini tutorials and also on my stories i let you guys know when i'm gonna go live when there's a new youtube video when i'm doing anything new and if i'm partying or going somewhere with my friends or with my boyfriend or anyone or with my family that is where you will catch me on instagram <laughs> so make sure you guys go and follow me on there also so you guys know when i'm gonna be posting and stuff so yeah ladies that is all for this video i will let you guys go thank you so much for watching you guys i've missed you but i am back um and i will see you guys in my next video